In this lecture, you will learn what is string interpolation in Angular and how to use string interpolation to achieve data binding. String interpolation in Angular is used to bind data from component class to its corresponding view template. And we use string interpolation to achieve one-way data binding. That means here the data flows from component class to view template. Let's understand string interpolation with an example. Currently, we are displaying this slogan for our Angular application in the web page. Now, to display this slogan, we have used static HTML. So, if I go to VS Code, if I go to source folder, inside this source folder, we have this app folder. And inside this app folder, we have this header component. If I go to the HTML file of this header component, here we are writing a static HTML to display this slogan in the web page. Now, to display this static content, we don't need a framework like Angular. We use Angular to render data dynamically in the web page, right? Now, let's say if we want to display this slogan at different places in our web application, then there we will have to write this slogan manually. And it is possible that while writing this slogan at different places in our web application, we might miss something or we might use different case. In that case, this slogan will not be consistent throughout the web application. And that's not something which we would want, right? To solve this problem, what we can do is in the component class of this header, so inside this header component class, we can create a property. Let's call this property slogan. And let's also specify the data type of this slogan property as string. And to this slogan property, we can assign the slogan which we want to display in our web page. In this case, we want to display this text as a slogan in our web page. So let's copy this and let's assign it to this slogan property. And now, instead of writing this static content, we can use the slogan property of this header component. And to use the slogan property of this header component in this HTML file, we can use string interpolation. And to use string interpolation, we use double curly braces like this. And inside this double curly braces, we can write any TypeScript code. Here, let's simply use the TypeScript property. So the property name is slogan. Let's use this property inside this view template. So now, instead of writing static HTML, we are generating the slogan for our Angular application dynamically. So here we are using this slogan property. Now, when this HTML will be rendered in the web page, this slogan, you know, instead of this slogan, the value of this slogan property will be rendered in the web page. So let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And in the web page, we should still be seeing this slogan. But this time, we are not displaying this slogan using static HTML. Instead, we have used data binding. And this slogan is being rendered dynamically. Now, let's say in future, if we want to change the slogan, then all we have to do is we have to change the value of this slogan property. And this is what data binding is. Here, we are binding the property of this header component in the view template. So if we change the value of this slogan property here inside this header component class, that change will also reflect here in the view template. Okay, so here the data is flowing from component to view. Now, as I mentioned, when we use string interpolation, inside this double curly braces, we can write any TypeScript expression. So if you want, you can also perform an arithmetic operation. So let's try that. Here, I'm trying to perform an arithmetic operation. Now, in the web page, the result of this arithmetic operation will be displayed. Let's see that. If I save the changes and if I go to the web page, this time the result of that arithmetic operation should be displayed in the web page, as you can see here. In the same way, you can also call a TypeScript method inside these double curly braces. So, for this header component, let's create a method. Let's call it maybe get slogan. And here, let's return a string value. And let's say 
this is a new slogan for this web application and now let's call this method in our view template so inside this double curly braces we can call a method as well like this and now the result of this method will be displayed in the web page so if i save the changes if i go to the web page now it should display the value which that method is returning so this is the value which the method is returning and that has been displayed in the web page okay so this is how you can use string interpolation to bind data from a component in the view template using string interpolation you can use the properties or methods of the component class okay let's remove this method from here and let's simply use slogan property save the changes let's go to the web page and now the value of the slogan property should be displayed all right let's do one more thing so if i go to the web page here we are displaying the name for the web application which is e-shopping and again we are displaying this using static html so let's go to vs code let's close this header component here and let's go to the nav component and let's open this nav component.html file so as you can see here we are displaying a static html we are displaying this e-shopping in the web page using static html now instead of using a static html let's go to the component class of this nav component which is this nav component class and inside this let's create a new property and let's call it maybe site name and let's also specify the data type of this property as string and to this let's assign this value okay and now we want to use the value of this site name property in our view template so for that let's go to view template and here let's use string interpolation again for that we use double curly braces like this and inside this we can specify the property name whose value we want to use here so the property name is site name if i save the changes if i go to the web page the site name should still be displaying in the web page but this time we are not displaying this site name using static html instead we are binding this site name property of this nav component in this view template and then the content the value for this site name will be rendered dynamically in the web page so this is how you can use string interpolation to bind data from a component class to your view template this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day